can last as long. Hello and welcome to the amazing Avon Achievers Leaders Call for Monday, November 5th. So who has any events coming up? I would like for us to do some big events next year. But if you see them, because a lot of people are going to be posting right now where they're doing events. So start documenting it. That way, you know, you can let me know. But if there's events, you know, I don't know how far I travel, but don't ever underestimate that. But, you know, if there's an event that we can do that really sounds very, very promising, I'll jump on it. I want us to go back to doing events because I know that's how you sell a lot of the stock you have on hand and you get leads. You can get tons of leads to go into your e-store for your website. That is how you build that as well. And of course, um, you know, getting some recruits on the spot. So collect the names for me and let me know because Sandra, I may come to you. It's not that far. Especially, God, it's got to be beautiful up there right now with the cool weather coming and with the leaves changing. I love that when I drove to, um, when we drove to Montgomery and I was saying, gosh, in a few more weeks, the leaves, it's going to be beautiful to take those highways there. It is, huh? Yeah, the colors, I could only imagine. <clears throat> oh, Alma leads. You, you know, one thing I wanted to share, I'm only getting... I'm lucky when I get one a day, sometime two, but on average, it's one. If someone shares leads with you, or if you're purchasing Alma leads, now you can only purchase Alma leads once you have two successful recruits, two successful um, representatives that put in an order, and you can purchase Alma leads after that, but it has to be two within a three campaign period. You have to work the Alma leads. You will get self-appointments. That they will sometimes when you're purchasing, they will self-appoint on the spot. But when it's passed to you, those leads you sometimes really have to work and work and work to turn them over. But they can be turned over. You know, we discussed that on our last call. Sally shared with us, you know, how she turns her a lot of her leads over, and it's just working them between texting, emailing. Switching things around, not doing the same thing. Of course, being on it. When Avon sends you that reminder, being on it and, and just sending them. I would right now, I'd be sending them the brochure link every campaign. I would send them the brochure link. And um, hopefully this weekend, because I'm not going camping this weekend, I'm hoping I can get to get response because I think getting to get to trying to get response. Uh, program that Angel was telling us about, you could probably put a whole brochure in there, right, Angel? And then you could share that all over. You could share that with Leeds, Facebook. Yes, ma'am. You're talking about the link, the link to it, or yes, you can put a link right into there. I saw somebody share the link to the brochure this weekend, and then you clicked on you could flip page by page, and it was awesome. And I said, I bet they use Get Response. They can either use, I mean, you have constant contact. You can use that or get response or any of those. Oh, I never thought about constant contact. Okay. Learn something new every day, all the time. But, um, you know, you may even want to think of any old leads you had. You may want to put them on campaign mailer. I had wanted to go through my old older leads, and she entered some of the older addresses for myself or Anybody that's been removed for, say, you know, three or four months, I had her enter a certain group of them into campaign mail. I said, I'm going to mail them a brochure to see how it works. So let's not forget about Mexico. I feel like I probably need to be staying in front of you a lot more than I am. But Mexico is now when you're getting these early points. How are you doing? Do you have any points? Did anybody turn in? A, did anybody have a personal recruit for campaign 23 that turned in an order? Right now, I personally have 250 points. By the end of 24, I will add another 600, hopefully 250 plus with that. Uh, I, rem I don't know if you remember who, I, but I shared one of my personal recruits had a family tragedy. And her first order would have been in for campaign 23. Well, she called me today 
and because I wasn't going to bother her, I wanted her to reach out, you know, anyway, she did, and her first order, it's already in, it was $395, I was kind of surprised at that, but you never know, so I know, you know, things are good there, but if you, you got to start working on it now, You've got to work on, you got to get you some points before Christmas. So how do you follow your points? If you go under Vibe and you click under the um, program static reports and you scroll down to you see Grand Fiesta, either the Excel sheet or the PDF, then you can pull up. Now, one thing you're going to have this way you see right here where you have your summary, appointment details, mentoring, and performance of your downline. So you can pull up what's happening. I was able to pull up, I had three appointments on there. One, I don't know where she come from. So you want to watch it. Of course, I've reached out to her. I don't know. She hasn't responded. But the other two have, and I know, like I said, the one girl's had a big order, and I know the other one has. So then when you look under mentoring, mentoring is going to show anybody in your first generation. It's going to show you um, anybody that's new to leadership and then performance of your downline. Now again, I can only pull up my first generation under performance of downline, but the way you pull up your for your second or third generation, when you go under their profile, you click under that representative's name and you'll see it, you know, you see these tabs and you see profile, business, all the, you know, and you click on reports, because I had forgotten this, because we did this with their crews, but just going over everything just now, I kind of got a flashback. But when you click on reports, that's when you where you can put anything on your downline. You can be able to pull up if she's got any points already started or if she's got anybody on in her first generation. You can also check. I have not clicked on the double dollars. I want to go there and see who's got what's there as well. Whoops, somebody's got some feedback. All right. Somebody just joined us, huh? Who's calling in from a 601 number? Area code. That's me, Karen Scratchin. I, I lost internet connection with the, the uh -oh, rain. We so better hurry, huh? All right, I better yeah. hurry. I can't oh, no, see. I, I, I you good? I okay. Um, so I can't see your points, but, you know, what are your plans to earn this? What are your plans to earn Mexico? You can't wait. You've got to make your plan now. You've got to be reaching out now to people. You know, everybody, everywhere you go. Edie, are you on the call? I want her to share something as she gets on. So, where is your next vacation? Would you prefer a free all inclusive trip to Mexico? I pulled this up from our October call because I want to go over these points again. Your early points are from um, the traditional recruit that places a first or second order of 150 or more. You earn 300 points. If someone on your team promotes the bronze ambassador for the first time, that's 500 points. If you mentor someone in your first generation, who promotes to the well, same thing? Um, if they if you if they promote to bronze ambassador, they get five hundred points. But if you're meant to someone that does, you get two hundred and fifty points for that. Don't ever underestimate anyone. You should be reaching out to everybody on your team, and you especially start with anybody that's selling one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars a campaign. Go back in 23 and see who sold that and reach out to them. You never know by just reaching out to them. I was thinking earlier, you know, because I want to work on an email that if I send an email out, you know, and the subtitle said something, would $650 pay for your Christmas? How many people would respond to that? Now, I think what's a problem, if you have a small team, you could individually I would take their email addresses, copy them, and go out of, if you have Gmail, whatever you, you have used, send an email to them that way. Because when you go through Vibe, a lot of times it goes into their spam folder. And that's probably the reason why they never, we think they're not reading our emails. It's because it's going into spam. And sometimes they may be empty in spam, or maybe by the time they go to empty it, it's way past the date of anything we were offering. So keep that in mind. Um, so how do you earn points after starting in campaign one? Because campaign one to campaign eight, 
And I have two things to add to that because I was just on the phone with Avon. Um, but you, if you sell three hundred to four ninety nine, you get a hundred points. If you sell, you order each campaign from campaign one to campaign eight. So this is definitely can happen for one because if you focus and make campaign one to, to go in Wednesday, uh, Wednesday December twelfth. Now I know they're supposed to be coming out. They said they're supposed to be coming out with a holiday calendar. We'll have to see if it actually comes out because I'm wondering with 2.0 in the new system if they can actually move it a day. But if they do, it should be coming out within the next week because we're on it. We're on top of it now. But um, so if anybody, if you have a $500 order or more, you get 200 points. So you know, if you really stretch it, you could do a $500 order for campaign one because you can back order your 26. Alma qualified new recruits. Now, if anybody is a new Alma starting in campaign one, you get 150 points. A personal recruit, see who will do you a favor. That's 300 points. Anytime through this, ask your friends, how would you like to shop at 40% off? You can't beat it, especially when you look at our, our clothes. You know how um, passionate I am about our clothes. That's why I've done a couple of videos on we have some beautiful clothes and the quality is amazing. It's outstanding. So, you know, really promote that, you know, to your friends. Hey, I don't have to look anywhere for my holiday clothes because I know I have something to work for. Work my husband's retired, but we're going to go to his Christmas party. I have something to wear that. I have something to wear to all my family events for Thanksgiving and Christmas because we have some beautiful clothes. So getting back to this. So those are just ideas. Show people the demo book. Now, they can't purchase in the demo book on the clothes and get 40% off, but they can wait till it's in that campaign. So if you show them, you know, the demo book that for campaign um, one, they can get those items, let them know they can sign up for one and get the items then, or however you decide to do it, because if it's a personal recruit, they can do it even early, but they don't get... They don't get 40% on the clothes. They only, if it's in the demo book, and if it's in the what's new book. So um, getting back to this, but if for each qualified recruit, Alma, personal, everything, that puts in that second order starting in campaign one, you get 100 points for every time. Every time they put a $150 order in, you'll get those 100 points for every one. So that can really break up the points. Promote a new title starting campaign one. That's a thousand points, but don't ever hold back. If you can hit a new title before one, don't hold back. Because if you say you're going for bronze ambassador, you get your three recruits and you get your 500 points, Say it happens for campaign 25 or 26. From campaign one to eight, you have time to hit silver or even gold. And then that's a thousand points. But make a plan and do the math. If you don't make a plan and work on it, it won't happen. Do you know how many appointments your team is doing? If you click on your own name under Vibe, you can pull that up under your clothes, your clothes comparison, I think. or um, but what about title advancements? Now's the time. We really have to promote it. So congratulations to everybody um, in campaign 23 with top team sales over $1,000. And okay, so our whole overall team did 87,753. We had 73 appointments. I always show what first generation is because as you move up titles, you have to have at least 10. Um, Gina's team had 13,364 with four new appointments. Julia's team had 12,242 with two new appointments. Angel's team had sales of 11,890 with one appointment. Gretchen's team had um, team sales of 8,643 with one new appointment. Sally's team had team sales of 5,820 with four new appointments. Karen Godet's team had team sales of 2,851. Priscilla's team had um, team sales of 1,952 with two new appointments. And let's see, um, I don't know if Edie or Cynthia is on the call. I'll just go ahead and say um, Edie's team's had sales of 1,114. 1, Did I miss Myrta? Why is Myrta not on here? 
It wasn't on the chart. Okay, because I know Mertz had more, but and Cynthia's team had one thousand six dollars in team sales. All right, so when we get a new promoter, it's our job to make sure we are setting time on the side to train them because they have no clue if we don't reach out to them. You know, reach out and try and set up some time to go over vibe. At least reach out a few times and you know let them know why you're reaching out. And if they, you know, if they don't get back with us, well then we know we did our job. How and um, all the little things, you know, that we really want to make sure our new promoters know what they know how to train their representatives and they know what to go over. So it's incentive time. I sent this email out what one day last week. Everybody got a copy. I want to give away 10 bundles and um, 10 bundles. And they'll be valued at $50. I will take pictures. Oh, shoots. We already bagged them all. They're all got bagged. <laughs> day so i won't be able to take pictures and put them on a team call but i'll take pictures and maybe some other ones we'll kind of throw together but and what it is for first orders you always want to support when you do an incentive always support the 150 dollar order and i have for the first order 150 dollars they get a ticket non pc for 300 and it changes each campaign and it goes by President's Club level and Honor Society. And you'll see how the sales call, but for every every entry they have over the, like if somebody's new and they have a $300 order, like this girl's really going to get tickets, they call me today. Because not only will she get a ticket for her $150 order, which she had an additional um, 200 so she will get four extra tickets. You know, we're not, I'm not doing these incentives for my leaders. I'm doing these, this for our team. If you earn sale, if you earn tickets in this, great, great land, yeah, for you. But you're doing it for the your team. Um, the sales increase, uh, you all got this last week, so I don't have to read over that. But this is the one I want your opinion on. What do you think of the following? My incentives, like I said, are not for us established reps. They're for our team and to get them to move. But so this is my second incentive. It pays to offer others the able and opportunity. For new, lead, for new leaders who have not titled up, starting in campaign 23 to 26, gift cards for everyone. Look at all these gift cards. I have all those gift cards that I bought a while back. So I need to start giving them away. Look at all these gift cards. So, so for anybody that gets in or up that adds a new team member, personal recruit, first, second, third, or fourth new team members that submit an order of $150 or more by the end of 26. Well, it has to be by the it has to be for their first order. So that I gotta fix. But they have to put an order in by 26 to qualify because incentive is gonna be from 23 to 26 will receive a goodie bundle valued at $50. Now, um, gift cards will be for anybody that promotes the bronze ambassador. And I don't know what the value will be yet. Probably 25 because they're gift cards. What do you think? Are you on mute? I can hear somebody's not, but come on, I need you to unmute. I need your opinion. Um, I think that is a great incentive the gift cards for the people to title up to bronze ambassador because it uh, it dovetails with the um, you know if they're new it dovetails with the build the love and also with the um, fiesta incentives thank you yeah yeah it gives them 500 points ahead of time um Thank you. Um, and if anybody else would like to jump in, I'd love your opinion. Like I said, the only thing I have to change is this down here. For the first, second, third, I will only pay out for two that qualify. I will not pay out for all four. The reason I did that is if you if you have a new person that has one or two recruits, you know, that have already put an order in, I don't want her not to play in it. I want her to be able to play in it, but she has to get a third or fourth person in order to play in it. Because we you know the goal behind it is to get her to bronze ambassador because it doesn't matter where it is in my generation. It will help you as well. So promote it once you see it. Don't um, ever underestimate somebody on your team that you don't think they won't be interested. You know, if you could show them how they can earn $650 and of course that's, you know, if they, if they're new, they get $50 for each recruit. And, um, 
but you know, and then the five hundred dollar bonus. It's so achievable. So, um, are you working with your team to make sure they are selling all they can sell? Okay. What do you, what do you do each campaign? So I asked Gretchen to share with us, you know, what she did last campaign on that last day. You there, Gretchen? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> um, that morning before I left for work, well, every morning I checked by, but it was the end of the campaign for 23. And I was about mm. to lose my bronze leader title. I was $150 short of 8000 mm. So I started um, emailing my no orders and I offered to pay their shipping costs if they placed the $150 order by noon that day. And the condition was that their sales were not placed on hold due to non payment. So I sent that email, drove off to work, got to work and uh, should have been working, but I began texting each no order and I replayed the, the email that I sent and I asked them, could I count on them to do this? I didn't just put it out there, I wanted a reply. A good portion of my team are people that have been nested from last year and these people never call me back. They you know, probably never had an upline, didn't want anything to do with me. Well, finally that day, I received three replies from some of these nested people. Of course, they said they, I couldn't count on them. They weren't placed in an order. So while that was discouraging, I was thrilled to finally hear from some of these people. I feel like a dialogue was open. So I didn't give up. I kept checking by, and then I contacted three new reps that we had that had never placed an order. So I text them, I said, call customer service at least order books. You won't be charged for shipping. And I told them that I would mail samples to them if they at least ordered books. Well, no reply. Still didn't get discouraged. I continued checking by, I continued sending out text messages. No one actually took me up on the $150 order, but Several people place smaller orders. So I ended up reaching my goal, didn't have to pay shipping costs. I started that day, I was $50 short of my goal, but I ended up the day with $767 more in orders. And I finished that day with team sales of $8,613. And even though no one put me up on that offer, I feel like I've opened up a lot dialogue some of these people figured this woman is not going away. Let me just go ahead and answer her text. And then I did have another lady who had placed an order in a while. She had been nested and I didn't want her to lose out, lose her business. And she finally contacted me and asked me to mail her a brochure. So that four people who would never talk to me before did talk to me and I did manage to keep my bronze leader title. Thank you. So did you text most of them or? I text every no order, yes. every one of them. I emailed them and I texted them. And then I texted some twice. Oh, well, I, I think texting is where it's at because like I was saying, you know, when we send groups emails, a lot of times it goes into spam. That's why they, right. we don't realize that they're not we think they're just not reading our stuff, but it's probably because most of it's going into spam. Well, thank you so much for sharing and great sales. Woohoo! And then, you know, thank you. I, I second, you're welcome. I said congratulations to everybody with team sales, but I didn't do my rah-rah, yay! <laughs> Sorry about that, I'm trying to hurry up on the call. Got an early morning tomorrow. Um, new title promotions, congratulations. Bronze ambassador, Priscilla Whitaker. I don't know if Priscilla's on the call, I had to mute one call because it was, um, Priscilla, are you on the call? Oh. So who's calling in from area code 832? That's Texas, huh? Who is that? Who? I'm talking oh, to me. Sarah, huh? Who's that? Is it Latasha Armstrong? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh, great, great. <laughs> I'm to record everybody, and it just have a phone number. Got it. Thank you. So, okay. Uh, so, okay. 
Oops, let me see if I can show you. So again, congratulations to bronze ambassador Priscilla Whitaker. Woohoo! And congratulations, she just said 500 points for Mexico. So, so actually, she's got more than that because she had uh, two successful recruits that had big orders. So I know she's got what that makes her personal recruits. There, she's got 1,100 points. So congratulations to Silver Ambassador Mercha Rapola. Mercha is uh, sick tonight, so she could be on. We still want to give her some kudos. And new promoters and star promoters, Jessica Template and Chris Alexander. Congratulations to everybody. Okay. So I don't know if you saw this on Facebook, but exclusively for you, I, that's where I saw this. Um, I, the Avon mailed out a brochure and this little, I guess, card was in a lot of the envelopes and it went for 21 campaigns. Anybody that got removed from campaign seven, I can't be right. It says up to campaign 24, but it has to be campaign 23, I would think. Anybody that got removed or made, yeah, um, if they put, we miss you, um, to make shopping with us extra easy, we're giving you our can't miss holiday brochure plus for your first order back with us in campaign 24 you'll receive extra earnings 40 percent also go back and look at your removals go into vibe and pull up the removals under your reports but you know click back and um do the what is it called the adjustment at the top the filter and go back as far as you can go back and see or go back to campaign seven and see who was removed and call them or text them and you know reach out i'm checking on you to see if you receive the able the brochure avon mailed you and a reminder you can take a picture of this you know 40 percent off guaranteed now that's on all regular items 20 percent on fashion and home but that's a great offer. So we definitely need to do that follow up. So make yourself a note because if you don't, you're not. Yeah, and you saw this on Facebook? Yes, I saw this on Facebook. So they didn't notify, they haven't notified us if they sent this out? Oh, that's how, you know, you if you don't get on Facebook continuously and watch stuff, sometimes you'll see stuff and sometimes I'll see it. And we have to be able to catch it. I saw this on Facebook. That's why I got this picture. You know, me and my screenshots. Right, and so it said in there that, that they had mailed it to uh, 21, 21 campaigns. Okay, all right, thanks. 20, 21, that's really not worded right. Worth It's worth 21 campaigns. Okay. 21 campaigns back in the previous, yeah, I get what you're saying. I just wanted to make sure before I let them know about this 4020. That's that's right, cool. I would definitely take a picture of this part and I would text Ooh, it in as reminder that's why i'm leaving it up a second i want to make sure everybody's taking a picture of it um because that's where it's at i i can take a picture and send it to you if you just can't get a picture of it but uh let me take a picture of it really quick for you in case somebody texts me i have it i don't have to go back but when i saw it i hadn't even put anything together for the meeting this was like last week i hurried up and opened up a powerpoint and took a picture of that because it, it is, it's a shame, but it is the way it is. And I, we ha I have to get into Facebook as often as I can. And we're almost done. Um, but I saw this on Facebook. Look how cute this is. And I bet they got these little sleds at the Dollar Tree. Put a hand cream, a lip balm, and a mint and peppermint in there. Isn't that adorable? You could easily sell this for 3 to $4. I'd say $4 as often as teacher gifts, any kind of gifts any kind of gift really a cute idea that was another picture i took but so who's able to help me with just for five minutes on our next on our leaders teams call next monday i'm not getting off this slide till i at least get three i'm going to write it down i you know i don't you know don't leave it you this is a team i need everybody to always pitch in and if we can take turns and somebody can do maybe five minutes on holiday selling Maybe five minutes on whatever it is on how to I can do something, Karen. This is Gretchen. Thank you. Woohoo! Thank Karen, you. I'll be out of town Monday and Tuesday, coming back on Wednesday, so I don't think I'll be able to do it. No, you won't. Thank this you. This time. So next next call, though, I will. Thank you. Good. I'll put you down for December. Karen, I go back okay. to work. Uh, 
Friday night and I'll get my new schedule. I don't know if I'm still going to be working Mondays. We've had some change in the since I've been out on medical leave. So thanks for letting me know, there. Becky. We'll go, maybe you can do. We'll see if you can do Monday. If not, maybe you can do. Uh, December. I haven't even decided the day in December yet. Or did I? I think I did mention it's probably going to be the fourth. I'm going to try to get Monday nights off, but being Monday night football and the fact that I don't work Saturdays, I probably won't be able to get it. Oh, good. Yeah, because I'm going to keep the calls now always on a Monday, and it's always going to be at seven instead of Sundays. That way, you everybody always knows. Um, who else can help? Gretchen. I know my last appointment is for two, so I'll be driving back. It's for seven. Mm -hmm. I'll be back for seven at my office. It just put me in case you need me. Okay, thank you. So who else we have on here? Um, Come on, guys! If I can buck up right now, you guys can do. Angel is definitely. She's she's working this uh, um some quite a few uh, long hours I know right now. You got me, Karen. I got you. Thank you. And Sally works a lots of hours too. She's barely ever home by seven. So who else? Well, we know Karen and Becky. Um, because we want it, we want all of our team to be here, you know. And I know some of you knew you'd probably be petrified to to speak on a call, but you know what? We'll get you for a minute or two. That's where it's got to start. You want to start doing it. It's just how did I do an event? How did I sell, you know, three hundred dollars my last campaign? Or how did I get my first one or two recruits? How did I get my second or third or fourth, whatever it is? We always want to share. Because your team wants to hear from you. They don't want to always hear from me. They want to hear from you. So please promote the, uh, the incentives with your team. And our next, uh, no, next Monday, November, uh, November um, 12th is our team call. Our next leaders call will be Monday, November 19th, which is the following Monday because of uh, that is Thanksgiving week. And then I think it's the... So that's the 19th then we'll skip monday actually the 26th and i think our team call is december 3rd so you'll have a break in there then and one thing to keep in mind before i go to the next slide i think we're almost done campaign one you know make sure and I'm, i know i've said this before make sure when you speak into your representatives you're new you're established that they order their campaign one brochures in their campaign 25 order and they start working it early because you want them to put it in on the first day it's available which is going to be that when right as of right now it's going to be that wednesday december 12th i don't know if it'll move up it normally does but i don't know with the new program but you know make sure that they know and they'll get an email from me once i know the dates but that they order their ones early that they're getting them in there was something else but my brain done jumped um well you know that the sooner they get in the better chance they get the products but i don't remember what it was when i remember and that's all i have to share so did I keep it up? I went over five minutes. Anybody have any questions? No? Any questions? No, Karen, I think you covered it. Well, thank no? you. Yeah, I wanted to keep it short. So it's 30, it should have been 30 minutes, but I went on talking. Thank you, Karen. You're welcome. Yeah, I got to early. All right, thanks, Karen. 4 a.m. So good night. Good night. Thanks, thank Karen. You. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.